I have been going around talking about the most famous woman you've never heard of. <laughs> she is the most important woman um, in, in this country that I think people don't know. And if you take, oh, where's my little handy gizmo? You, there you go, now you can put the lights down, please. If you take a look at this picture, I, I can tell you that most Americans have no idea who in the world this is. And yet she started the most important organization for girls and women in the history of this country. I think there's three important reasons you should know about Julie Gordon Lowe. First, she has an intrinsically interesting life. You know, she's got a little heartbreak, she's got a little joy, she's got a little uh, scandal, and she's got this terrific, towering achievement. Secondly, I think Julie Gordon Lowe should be in the first rank of progressive era reformers because of what she accomplished. She took a different path to get there. You uh, could study the um, progressive era and not find her connected to people like Florence Kelly and Ida Tarbell and Mary Church Terrell, but she's still a reformer among these ranks. So I think this is another reason we should study her. The third reason is because her organization has remained true to its founder's ideals for a hundred hundred years and hundred hundred years and seven days. There we go. And any group that has fifty million alumni in this country, ten million girls and women active in Girl Scouting around the globe, and three point seven um, active members, girls and women today, that remains true to its founders' ideals. I think that's a founder we should know something about. So girl guiding, she knew, could train girls for an alternate future. And she included in her first manual a whole bunch of badges, um, including ambulance, boatswain, clerk, cyclist, electrician, farmer, flyer. And if you, were fly, if you got the flyer badge, you had to have made an airplane fly 25 yards and have some knowledge of engines. That's a quote. <laughs> um, naturalist, pathfinder, pioneer, and rifle shot. Juliet Lowe believed every girl should know how to shoot a rifle. Of course. <laughs> she also liked the aspects of camping and fresh air. She said the self-sufficiency that girls get from camping is, is um, it can't be gotten anywhere else. So camping was an, an important part of it from the very beginning. This is a time where she says, we are going to, I'm going to allow my girls to call themselves Girl Scouts. Because the girls themselves said, we don't like being guides. What's a guide anyway? That doesn't sound as cool, it doesn't sound as interesting. So Juliet Lowe said to her dear friend, Robert Baden Pohl, I'm gonna stand up to you and I'm gonna stand up on behalf of my girls. And this is the genesis of Julia Gordon Lowe's important motto for all troop leaders, trust the girls. She said that to troop leaders all her life, trust the girls. So if the, girls, if the girls like it and the girls enjoy it, that's the important thing to do. My concluding point here is that only Julia Gordon Lowe could have created the Girl Scouts of the United States of America. Only Julia Gordon Lowe had this appreciation for fun and craziness. Only Julia Gordon Lowe had a commitment to duty like this. Her personal understanding the importance of preparing for many possible futures. Her preternatural optimism that led her to trust the girls and trust the women who were committed and involved in Girl Scouting. Her belief in local control and flexibility. She was the daughter of a states' rights Democrat. So local control was very important to her in all of her troops. And her reverence for tradition. This is a woman who loved all the things that you Girl Scouts love. The songs, the badges, the uniforms, the friendship circle, these were all very dear to Juliet Lowe. And yet she embraced change. And the embracing of change today is what allows Girl Scouting to continue to grow with girls. All this together results in Girl Scouts as we know them. And I think a different leader, a different woman would have created a very different Girl Scouts. That's why studying this woman and her remarkable life is so important.